Are you feeling stressed at work? And even if you are not, do you realize that as you progress, the likelihood of feeling stressed at work is going to be higher? What do you think you can do about that? Hello and welcome everyone, Martin Petkov here. LinkedIn recently released the results of a survey looking at the stress that people experience at work. And here in black I have some of the key findings that I'd like to share with you, discuss them and see what you can do about them. According to the survey, approximately 50% of people feel stressed at work. The number one cause was workload or issues with work-life balance. Generation X was the most stressed and the higher the people were in the organization, the higher was the likelihood of them experiencing stress. Now, here in red, I have my thinking about what I think is going on and how that can be addressed most effectively. So, I would hypothesize reasonably that as you become more senior, your responsibilities in your organization grow. That tends to be the case with your responsibilities in life as well because many people would be creating a family as well, potentially taking care for children, being the bread earner, etc. etc. The perceived experience is that you have less and less time. As a result, there tends to be less investment and less time for self-care and also less investment and less time for personal growth and development. That is further mirrored by the policies in most organizations because yes, there may be some emphasis and some programs for developing the senior leaders, but proportionately they take far less from their time compared to the intensity and time invested in developing the people which are at the individual contributor level and the analyst and associate level. This is where programs for executives similar to the one that I offer come so handy. They are giving the opportunity for managers and executives to take care of themselves in the most effective and practical way through effective diet and exercise, which is integrated smoothly into their life. And also they have a platform for continuous growth and development supported by personalized coaching experience. I don't think that this is how things must be or that this is something that needs to be taken for granted. With the right approach, with the willingness to invest in yourself, you can certainly reduce the stress in your life because the pressures that we face are natural but the stress response can be modulated by how we respond to them. And by taking care of ourselves in a holistic way, we're going to mitigate the negative health consequences of that stress, we're going to take better care of ourselves, and we are going to invest in our growth and development so that our perception of stress becomes less and less. Because the higher your competence is, the more confident you feel, as you can learn in my module on confidence and leadership and as a result we can make that from 50 to let's say 5%. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you get in touch. Let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe and I'll speak with you soon.